Introduction Cognitive development theory is a theory related to human development. This theory explores the characteristics related to natural logic and the reasoning process used at various levels of human development. Cognitive development theory looks at the intelligence, knowledge and the interactions of an individual with his or her environment. Before we move on to explore the cognitive development theory, click here to know more about the theorists who developed the cognitive development theory. Concept of Cognitive Development Theory Cognitive development is the growth of logical thinking in an individual from infancy to adulthood. There are three major components in cognitive development theory. They are thinking process, thinking tendencies, and four stages of cognitive development. Let's explore each of these components in detail for a better understanding of cognitive development theory. Thinking process. Thinking process is one of the major components in cognitive development. This is because thinking processes lead to the development of logical thinking in an individual. However, the thinking process in a human does not just develop naturally. The development of the thinking process of an individual from birth to maturity is due to four major factors. They are maturation, activity, social experiences, and equilibrium. These are the four factors that are generally associated with the thinking process in cognitive development. Click on each of the factors in the diagram for detailed explanation on how they contribute to the changes in the thinking process of an individual. Maturation Maturation refers to changes that occur naturally and spontaneously. It occurs to a large extent and is genetically programmed. Such changes emerge over time and are relatively unaffected by the environment except in cases of malnutrition or severe illness. Other changes are brought about through learning as individuals interact with their environment. Maturation is the unfolding of the biological changes that are genetically programmed in each human being at conception. Activity Activity is another influence. With physical maturation comes the increasing ability to act on the environment and learn from it. When a young child's coordination is reasonably developed, for example, the child may discover principles about balance by experimenting with a seesaw. So, as we act on the environment, as we explore, test, observe and eventually organize information, we are likely to alter our thinking processes at the same time. Activity is when humans develop the ability to act on the environment and learn from it. This takes place after the physical maturation phase. Social experiences Social experiences are gained when we interact with the people around us and involve in social transmission or learning from others. These experiences will influence our thinking process where we learn from other people's ideas and attitude. Equilibrium, Disequilibrium Equilibrium is an act of searching for mental balance between cognitive schemes and information from the environment, whereas disequilibrium is out of balance that occurs when a person realizes that his or her current ways of thinking are not working to solve a problem or understand a situation. According to Piaget, organization, assimilation and accommodation can be seen as a kind of complex balancing act. 
In the cognitive development theory, the actual changes in thinking take place through the process of equilibrium. Piaget assumed that people continually tested the adequacy of their thinking processes in order to achieve that balance. Thinking Tendencies Next, let's look at the thinking tendencies in cognitive development. Thinking tendencies are related to the thinking process where it responds to the factors that influences the thinking process and its development. According to Jean Piaget, all species including humans inherit two basic tendencies. They are organization and adaptation. Let's explore the details of the two basic tendencies mentioned above. Organization Organization is a tendency where it combines, arrange, recombine and rearrange behaviors and thoughts into coherent systems. Organization in thinking involves certain structures which are referred as our systems for understanding and interacting with the world. These structures are called schemes. Schemes are the basic building blocks of thinking. They are organized systems of actions or thought that allow us to represent mentally or think about the objects and events in our world. As a person's thinking process become more organized and new schemes develop, behavior also becomes more sophisticated and better suited to the environment. Thus, individuals develop the ability to organize their thinking processes into psychological structures as they mature. These structures combine information and coordinate effectively. For instance, a six-month-old baby would not be able to look at an object and grasp it at the same time. However, constant practice and also the maturation process enables the baby to do so when it reaches the age of one. This shows the development of the baby's psychological structures where organization tendency combines thought and behavior of the baby in doing an action. Adaptation Adaptation is a tendency where individuals adapt their behavior and actions to their surrounding environment. According to the cognitive development theory, it is believed that from the moment of birth, an individual tries to adapt to his or her environment. Two basic processes involved in the adaptation tendency are assimilation and accommodation. Click on each of the processes for detailed explanation on how they contribute to the adaptation tendency. Assimilation Assimilation is a process where people use their existing schemes to make sense of events in their world. Assimilation involves trying to understand something new by fitting it into what we already know. Click on the play button to view the video clip. From the example, we know that the little girl related her present knowledge about chicken's growth, existing scheme, with the growth of a human being, new experience. Accommodation Accommodation occurs when a person changes existing schemes to respond to a new situation. Click on the play button to view the video clip.
நீங்களை <laughs> <laughs> Based on clip 1, we can conclude that an individual adjusts his or her thinking to fit new information received instead of adjusting the information to fit his or her thinking. For instance, the boy stopped using the straw as he knows the straw cannot be enlarged. However, he uses the glass to drink as an alternative action where he tries to adapt to the environment. Clip 2 shows that when a person is not able to adapt to the situation, he or she will ignore the information received as it is unfamiliar information. This also shows a type of accommodation where the individual adapts to the situation by ignoring it. Four stages of cognitive development. Next Let's move on to explore the four stages of cognitive development. The four stages of cognitive development are sensory motor 0 to 2 years, pre-operational 2 to 7 years, concrete operational 7 to 11 years, formal operational 11 to 15 years. The four stages of cognitive development reflect the actual differences that Piaget hypothesized of children as they grow. Click on each stage to explore it in detail. Sensory motor, 0 to 2 years. The earliest period is called the sensory motor stage because development at this stage is based on information obtained from the senses, sensory and from the actions or body movements motor of the infant in this stage the baby begins to make use of imitation memory and thought and also begins to recognize that objects do not cease to exist when they are hidden pre operational 2 to 7 years the second stage in cognitive development is pre operational In this stage the child is beginning to master mental operations but it is not yet perfect. Click on the play button to view the video clip. In the pre-operational stage the child gradually develops use of language and ability to think in symbolic form. The child is able to think logically in one direction. However, at this stage, the child has difficulties seeing another person's point of view as he or she has not mastered the mental operations. <laughs> 